The Pilatus PC-12 and PC-24 have streaming weather data service that provides multiple options to display weather information. It is shown on the INAV map display and can also be shown on the vertical situation display if your aircraft has advanced SXM. The SXM service has weather products that can help you determine the weather conditions on and around your route of flight. The SXM data is uplinked automatically to the aircraft and stored until you request to see it. There are two main parts to the SXM weather system, an SXM weather antenna and a receiver. The receiver only receives aviation weather data and no other SXM products. To view SXM weather information, click on the Weather tab on the INAF map and select SXM Weather. You will see the various available weather products in the drop-down menu. An annunciator is shown near the top left of the INAF map when SXM weather data is selected for display. When you have multiple layers of weather information selected, an all-WX annunciator is shown. When communication is normal, the weather annunciator is displayed in white. If there is an issue with the communication, it is displayed in amber. All of the weather products have time monitors on the lower left side of the INAV map display, which indicate the time since weather data was generated by the service provider. Some of the selected weather products have a legend which is customized to the weather information being shown and helps you decipher the data. NEXRAD is a network of high-resolution Doppler weather radars operated by the National Weather Service, which detects precipitation and atmospheric movement. The image you see in the cockpit is a collage of radar images from multiple ground radar sites. NEXRAD weather data is a great tool for long-range flight planning, but it should not be used for real-time weather deviations because the images could be up to 20 minutes older than the actual weather conditions. Always use the onboard weather radar for real-time, in-flight weather avoidance. The composite radar shows the maximum intensity for all radar tilts that are active for each NEXRAD radar site. When compared to the base angle reflectivity, the composite reflectivity might look like the rain is more widespread. This could possibly indicate virga or strong updrafts. The satellite mosaic shows cloud cover over the continental United States and a couple hundred miles off the coast. Cloud temperatures are estimated at different altitudes and converted into estimated cloud heights. The color of the clouds depends on the altitude they are at, which you can determine by looking at the satellite legend. Wind data is available in Canada, Mexico, and the Caribbean. It is displayed for the altitude you have set in the SXM soft key along the right side of the INAV map. The default altitude is flight level 240. The altitude is changed by placing the cursor on the soft key and rotating the CCD scroll wheel or TSC knob. To see the winds at the surface, dial it down until you see SFC in the time monitor window. Wind barbs show you the relative direction of the wind and the speed is represented by lines and pennants depending on the wind speed. With advanced SXM, you can also see the winds on the vertical situation display. An additional menu is available when you select the VSD SXM soft key with winds selected. Here, you can select to show the VSD, display the vertical profile view of the winds in the VSD window, or remove the VSD from the map. The altitude of the wind data is represented by a dashed line on the VSD. To see storm tops information, NEXRAD has to be selected. Tops data is shown only when the height of the cell is greater than or equal to 20,000 feet. The text for the top's height and speed is displayed relative to the direction of the cell, and the top's direction arrow begins at the location of the storm cell. The SXM weather lightning function receives lightning strike information from remote, ground-based lightning sensors and shows the lightning strikes on the map. Selecting Turbulence from the SXM weather menu shows you forecasted clear air turbulence information on the map. Areas of light, moderate, severe, and extreme turbulence are depicted using shades of orange. 
turbulence data is shown for the altitude you have set in the SXM soft key along the right side of the INAV map. It is important to note that all other SXM weather selections, except for winds and temporary flight restrictions, have to be deselected from the menu before you can see turbulence. With advanced SXM, you can also see the forecasted turbulence on the VSD. An additional menu is available when you select the VSD SXM soft key with turbulence selected. Here, you can select to show the VSD, display the vertical profile view of the turbulence in the VSD window, or remove the VSD from the map. The altitude of the turbulence data is represented by a dashed line on the VSD. Echo TOPS data indicates the highest altitude at which precipitation is falling. Echo TOPS are shown for the altitude you have set in the SXM soft key along the right side of the INAV map. A legend with shades of gray and magenta indicate the approximate altitude of the TOPS, and the caret corresponds to the altitude you have selected. The icing selection shows the current icing potential at the selected altitude. Different shades of blue indicate the possible severity of the icing conditions from 1,000 to 30,000 feet in 3,000 foot increments. This information is categorized by either the percentage of probability or on one of five levels of severity for areas where icing could happen. The freezing level selection shows you a graphical representation of the altitude where the temperature is at or below freezing. There is an altitude readout attached to each freezing level line. For this video, we will just talk about AirMets. However, the SIGMET graphics work the same way. AirMet graphics have an AirMet type label. An AirMet type label uses AirMet type symbols to identify the type of AirMet that is being shown. When you place the cursor on an AirMet graphic for more than one second, the AirMet type and expiration time is shown. The AirMet graphics use different colors to identify the type of AirMet. With the cursor on the AirMet graphic, pushing Enter shows a task menu. You can get a textual description of the AirMet by selecting Show Info. Under the Summary section is a drop-down menu, which gives you the option to see information on neighboring AirMets. Checking pilot reports is a great way to get real-time flight conditions reported by other pilots along your route of flight. PIREPs are represented by colored symbols depending on the type of PIREP. When you place the cursor on a PIREP graphic for more than one second, the PIREP type and issued time is shown. Just like AirMets and SIGMETs, you can get more detailed information about the PIREP by opening up the Show Info window for each PIREP. You also have the option to select neighboring PIREPs. Aircraft reports are routine often automated reports of in-flight weather conditions. Air reps are represented by colored symbols depending on the type of air rep. When you place the cursor on an air rep graphic for more than one second, the air rep type and issued time is shown. And just like PI reps, you can get more detailed information about the air rep by opening up the show info window for each air rep, and you can also select neighboring air reps. A temporary flight restriction is represented by a shape in a label box. When you put the cursor over the TFR, the label box is shown with the altitude, time, and date. TFRs are displayed as the issued regional shape when you have the range set less than 400 nautical miles. Above that range, the shape will just be a circle. Clicking on the TFR shows the TFR task menu. You will see the TFR ID along with some other options. Selecting Show Info will give you more details about the selected TFR. The graphical METAR display lets you get a quick look at weather conditions for a large area or specific airport. When you put the cursor over a graphical METAR circle, a temporary METAR dialog box opens. The colored circles represent the colored ceiling and visibility conditions. The amount of fill for each sky condition circle is determined by the amount of actual sky cover. Pushing Enter shows the METAR task menu. Selecting Show Info will give you the same information as the METAR dialog box, but the information is decoded for you. 
Just like the graphical METAR, the graphical TAF option gives you a quick look at the weather forecast for a large area or specific airport. The TAF data is shown for the forecast period you have selected in the SXM soft key on the right side of the INAV map. The default time is 00 to 0100 Zulu. The forecast period is changed by placing the cursor on the soft key and rotating the CCD scroll wheel or TSC knob. When you put the cursor over a graphical TAF circle, a temporary TAF dialog box opens. The colored circles represent the forecasted ceiling and visibility conditions, and the amount of fill for each sky condition circle is determined by the amount of forecasted sky cover. Pushing Enter shows the TAF task menu. Selecting Show Info will give you the same information as the TAF dialog box, but the information is decoded for you. The SXM weather feature on Pilatus aircraft provides pilots with a great amount of information presented in a visually stunning, easy-to-read format. This information helps pilots conduct safer and more efficient flights. For more detailed information on SXM weather and other available weather products on the Pilatus PC-12 and PC-24, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide.